Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another video, and I know this is going to be something completely different for the channel. Um, and I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty much ripping off some other people I watch on YouTube that do the exact same thing, but screw it, I'm going to do it too, because I'm not original at all. I just rip everybody off. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to take a look at my local Craigslist, which is something I don't usually use that much of, but I do sometimes... And I do like using it because sometimes I get a good deal. Uh, and I also use Craigslist to look up like where yard sales are. And I do find good ones through Craigslist because I don't think many people use Craigslist to find yard sales. I think they use like apps and stuff, which I do too, like yard sale apps. So what I wanted to do here is go look at all the local, uh, maybe not even local, just pretty much everywhere in New York, all kinds of video game deals. Uh, I'm going to look everywhere in New York too. Um, which I know is probably not something I should do because, of course, it's going to be places that I don't want to travel, obviously. But um, I thought it would be fun either way. So let's get to it. I'm going to make my, uh, I'm gonna make me small. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Thanks, XSplit. <laughs> you make it easy for me. Oh. Uh, mm. So anyway, here's my, uh, here it is. I am searching. You can't see it right now. Here. I'll make it so you can see it real quick. I'm searching at in, if you can see on the top left, New York, all New York for sale video game. So we're going to look and see if we can find any good deals. Some people do this and I, I find it entertaining to watch them. Uh, I have yet to see anybody from New York do one. <clears throat> so I thought maybe, you know, I'll cover that demographic, huh? All right. Let's go. It's going to be a more free form video. You know, I'm just going to chill out and look at deals, all right? So if you just want something to listen to in the background, it's probably going to be the perfect video for you. We'll also look up and see if we can find any good deals. Like, if we find what could be a good deal, we'll look up and see how good of a deal it possibly is from, I don't know, maybe price charting and eBay. I, I use price charting, but uh, most of the time I like to look at eBay, see what's sold, because um, that makes more sense to me. Because also, price charting, even though it's... Ooh, my fucking phone just went off. I have to stop putting on my radiator because it's not, it makes a loud noise. But, um, what was I saying before I was interrupted by this fucking thing? Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, eBay. Um, I like looking at eBay more so than price charting because price charting, they don't always co like show off the exact ones that sold, if you know what I mean. Sometimes they don't show certain listings that sold, which is weird. I know that for a fact because I've bought I've, I've bought stuff uh, off eBay and then I'll look on price charting like a week or so later and my my thing I bought from eBay is not on there so which is weird and same thing like I sold something and it wouldn't be on there it's it's weird maybe they just don't like me I don't know maybe, maybe. whatever anyway let's check this out all right <clears throat> stash invest five dollar promo code what the fuck is that all right Resident Evil Seven. Like Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition is uh is 20 bucks right now at Best Buy. So spend five more bucks and you get all the DLC. Also, if you have GCU, then it's actually 16 bucks. So spend an extra dollar or two after tax. Or you can meet up with some Shlomo and uh you can go get it from him or her. Um, all right, what is this? WRC5 X1 X Bone <laughs> Xbox One. Put all the ones you can to get as many viewers. Or people watching. I think that game's worth like six bucks. I'm not gonna lie. I think I looked up that game once just to see like cheap games on Amazon just to fill out the collection. Um I think that was one of the cheap ones, but I decided not to get it. I could be wrong, but I'm not even gonna look at that one. Uh Game Boy Game Gear Charger. Oh, that's kinda cool. Tw oh, 20 bucks. Oh, let's look at it. So wait, what is it for? Game Boy or Game Gear for or for both? I guess it's for both. I've never seen this. Play for 14 hours on Game Boy and 2 hours on Game Gear. God damn. Um, <laughs> it has a big difference. That's actually kind of cool. Not that I'd ever use it, but that's not bad. That, that was posted 21 days ago. So this this uh, New York um, section is pretty dead. You know, on the first page. That was a, Maybe they, they might have relisted it. You can relist things. That is true. So let me not get ahead of myself. Is my... Hold on, let me just see. Alright, good. I have my ACs right here. It sounded like it was about to kick on, so... It's not. I turned it off. Uh, Far Cry 4 brand new. 35. Nope. Uh, just cause 3 day one edition. 40 bucks. Get the fuck out of here. Um, 
<laughs> you fucking crazy. Uh, e kids Pokemon on ear headphones, Nintendo 3DS Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. I guess you can't. You can only use them for those. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't that be some shit? Some headphones don't even let you listen to other games. Not sorry. You have to connect different headphones. This is just for Pokemon, baby. Can you see the Pokeballs? What you doing? Um, nine bucks. It's brand new. Uh, nope. <laughs> wow. All right. Hold on. Is this the one that comes with no game? No, it comes with a game. That game's worth ten bucks now. And this collector's edition, I see every store trying to get rid of this for like twenty, thirty bucks. So this guy's trying to sell it, or this again, this person is trying to sell it for how much? A hundred and ten dollars used. The fuck out of here. <laughs> Come on. Let's let's just all right here. This is our first. Um, let me see. Uh, hey, uh, yeah. There you go. Um, what was it again? Jesus, I had a, that was the weirdest fucking like blank ever. Um, deluxe. What is it called again? De yeah, deluxe edition. Deluxe edition. Oh my god, I'm doing this at four o'clock in the morning. By the way, I shouldn't mention that. That's why I just like dazed out for a second. I don't know what the fuck happened there. I was like, that. Uh, is it deluxe edition? All new. Yeah, except it's out of the box, so it ain't new. <clears throat> Collector's edition? Yeah, look at this. You can buy one. Alright, wait, hold on. Uh, this is for Revolution. That's a DLC. Um, yeah, 37 plus free shipping. And also, I could I could do a best offer. And it's brand new. This one's brand new too. 70 bucks. This one's brand new. Still cheaper. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Get out of here. Ridiculous. Um, PS2 game with one controller, except there's two in the picture. That's weird. Um, does it come with games? It does. Let's see. Oh, wow, this guy really liked his karaoke. Karaoke Revolution, for Karaoke Revolution, and Need for Speed Underground. It's a weird little selection of games. Uh, 140 bucks for this Nintendo 64. Comes with Ocarina of Time and Super Mario 64. Um, like $20 games each. No. Not good. No bueno. Oh, connect. Hell yeah, in a box. I still got my bet. My connect. Wait, what? It's a connect? It's free. I've never used it. I don't know why I bought it. It's free. Oh, so you can. Everybody that's in Brooklyn right now, look up this guy. Here you go. See? This is why I do this. Just in case you're not uh, um, keeping up with your Craigslist. There you go. Free Xbox uh, Connect. It's, it said it's a connect. It's free. I never used it. I'm assuming it's free. So there you go. Look up uh, New York. Craigslist gaming shit, and you can get a free connect if you want it. Ooh, look at this. Cruising World arcade game. Awesome. 800 bucks. It's nice. I used to play cruising all the time. In the arcade. My Dave & Buster still has one, actually. So, uh, A dollar? No, it's not actually a dollar. People put a dollar when they can't figure out like what they actually want to sell it for. Because no one would, would sell anything on... Craigslist for a dollar. What's the fucking point? By the time you drive to somewhere, you already wasted a dollar of gas. What the was was the point? It's actually not a bad deal. Ten dollars for this? New, still in plastic. Twenty nine new on Amazon, and they're selling it for ten. Not bad. Where is this? Doesn't say. Uh, Franklin at Prospect Place. I forgot where that is. Union Street. I know where that is. All right. It's not too far away. Uh, uh, not going for that. $10 Xbox One game. It's like a $20, $30 game. No. I'm looking for good deals, baby. Not eh, good deals. I'm not looking for eh, good deals. I'm looking for eh, good deals. You know? Switch game. $60 for a Switch game. Wait, what? Selling game and remote. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the remote. My ass. Coney Island. You can keep that shit. Wait, hold on. So this is used, and it comes with the, the fucking thing you put your Joy-Cons in? And he's trying to make it like, oh, this is a good deal, man. A good deal for a full price. Go meet me up in Coney Island. Maybe we'll go get a snow cone. Well, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, you're... <laughs> uh, charging dock? That's not too bad. I think those are like 30 bucks. Is it new? Oh, this is like an advertisement for some guy's mod lab. What the fuck? No, it's okay. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. I don't want any of these. Again, if you want free connect. 
There you go. Um, Nintendo Wii. Let's see what the games are. Uh, Pokey Park. I don't know how much that is. How much is Pokey Park? Pokey Park Wii. It's like a $20 to $30 game, looks like. And how much do they want? $150. That's a good deal. Definitely won't fucking do that. Wait, what's the disc only game? Ben 10? Oh, yeah. Oh, Ben 10 is the best. Wait, hold on. Oh, it is a PS Vita. <laughs> In that picture, it looked like a PSP. I'm not even going to lie. Um, that's not bad, actually. $80 for a PS Vita? It is a model P. Okay, so it's like the first model. Uh, with Wi-Fi and 3G capabilities. It comes with a Sony N. It's on the latest firmware. It's actually not bad at all. $80 for that? That's really good. And PS Vita is a hugely under underrated uh, portable system. It's probably one of my favorite portable systems ever. Here we go. Here's a, here's a PSP. PSP is pretty great, too. That's not that bad. I remember that what the fuck game actually. Uh, that game's pretty cool. <laughs> actually, it's very strange. Me and my Katamari. I think that's actually worth a little bit. Midtown. That's not too far away. Hold on. Uh, no, I was putting on my hero video. Up. Um, what was it called again? Me, me and my Katamari. Is it my and me Katamari? <laughs> hey, yo, my and me Katamari. A twenty dollar game. It's not bad at all. PSP still go for uh, how much? It's a PSP go. No, in the box. That's actually not a bad deal. How much does what the fuck go for? I know it's not actually called what the fuck, but <laughs> fifteen bucks, thirteen, nine, eleven. Okay, it's not bad at all actually. For 50 bucks? No battery. Uh, okay, well, fuck it. <laughs> Not that I was going to get it. I already have a PSP. If it was like 30 bucks, I'd consider it just to get rid of the PSP and keep the games. $250. 30S XL with free shop. And games. What the fuck does free shop mean? Oh, free shop. Okay, I just have to spend $250. Free shipping. Okay. Free sh Wait, hold on. This is Craigslist, boy. What do you mean shipping? It says free shipping right here. Free shipping. Is that a game? I missed that one in the Nintendo catalog? Or is he just saying, yo, ship it instead of meeting up? Uh, I mean, this ain't a bad deal if you have the cases for these games. I don't know if they do. Free shop? What the fuck is free shop? Free e shop. What the fuck is that? What is free shop? Is that like some mod? Is that like some mod? Come on. Uh, 3DS XL, you can get used for like 100, 120, I think. Actually, let's see. Might as well. Uh, 3DS XL, uh, black, I don't know. It looks like that's, oh, I put a fucking, <laughs> god damn it. <sighs> I'm having a good day. I'm tired. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, that comes with game, okay, so that's actually a better deal, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the Pokemon game is probably 20 bucks each, the Super Smash Bros. game, probably like around 20, 25, Pearl, that's what, like a 25, $30 game, is Pearl the, no, I'm thinking of a different one, that's probably like not even $20, uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's okay deal if you really want all those games, I guess. But uh, I don't, I don't want it. Titanfall Two. Oh, they're actually selling it for a right price, five dollars. That's not bad at all. Uh, Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection. If you're in Soho, then that's not bad. Ten bucks for that either. Same person, obviously. Oh, Jamaica. Wait, how, how? Why is it a PAL version? That's weird. Why do you have the PAL version of a uh, Uncharted: The Lost Legacy? Twenty bucks for that isn't too bad. It still goes for like thirty bucks. Uh, God of War Remaster 20. Yeah, everything else isn't too great there, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Xbox One games. Same guy, obviously, from Jamaica. I know it's not that Jamaica, before someone says anything. Uh, Need for Speed Payback 20 bucks. That's not too terrible. I mean, the game itself, I heard it was pretty bad. Uh, Resident Evil 6. Oh, cool. Is it the... Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. That's Resident Evil 4 and Resident 6. It's not bad for 10 bucks each. You know, they still go for 20 bucks uh, new. But if you just want them, then 10 bucks. You gonna open it anyway? 
Oh, that's actually not a bad price for that. Nintendo Switch 275. And it comes with Axiom Verge, which is a great game. That's not bad at all. It actually looks like it's in pretty good condition, too, the Switch. This guy probably didn't fucking like it. He's just like, where's all the games? I don't want all these Wii U ports. Probably what he said. He said exactly like that, too. Um, that's not bad, actually. If you're in a bed stew, stoey, bed stoey, I don't even know where the fuck that is, then go check it out. Xbox 360 with two controllers. It's like one of the older Xboxes. Actually, no, it's not. Is it? I can't tell, actually. it's No, no, it's not, because it has the little... Yeah, it's one of the uh, newer ones. Uh, here's a good old Xbox 360, ready for you Halo throwbacks and COD parties. You can even repeat the same mission over and over again with Destiny. Yeah, this guy's, this guy's like a comedy mastermind right here. Yeah, this guy. Everything works, just don't need it anymore because I upgraded. I'll give you any game I have to. Any game you have? Oh, shit. Any game? Any game. Even your Xbox One games? Hand them over, baby. Uh, Clock Tower 3. Right? What? And Disaster Report. One of my favorite games. 30 bucks for Clock Tower 3? Nope. $20 game. Disaster Report, 30 bucks. Yeah, that's about what it's worth. I love Disaster Report. That's one of my favorite underrated games of all time. That game is fucking great. I don't care what anybody says. I'm sure it hasn't aged well, but actually, uh, me and a couple friends played it recently. And it was mainly them playing it. And I could tell it that it hasn't aged well. But uh, I would love to get another game. Because there was actually other games in that series for Disaster Report. They weren't called Disaster Report 2 or 3. Uh, one was called Raw Danger. That was on PS2. I have that also. And um, I have Disaster Report, by the way. Um, and the other one was called Disaster Day of Crisis. And there was a fourth one that never came out. And I don't think it came out in Japan, too. I think it got, like... Like, it was in development, then it's like, stopped being developed. And I thought I heard recently that they continued development again because fan feedback... I mean, fans were really clamoring for it. Also, that Disaster Day of Crisis game, I think, never came out in America. I think it was only, like, Europe and Japan. Disaster Day of Crisis. We... I think it's pretty rare. Could be wrong. Oh, okay, maybe not. Okay. Never mind. That's it. So it's actually pretty easy to get. Uh, it was also not the same. Like I watched people play it, and it just it looked too arcadey, if that makes sense, compared to like Disaster Report, where it was like really, really, really gung ho about the whole like survival element, which I really loved. Um, wait, well, hold on. Hold on. All right, I have to read this. I had Disaster Report and Clock Tower Two. Uh, I'm sorry, Clock Tower Two. Clock Tower Three for PS2 for sale or trade. Both games are in good shape. Why does he put? Why does he capitalize every word? But okay, testing and work just fine. Zash report has a small piece of the cover art of the game disc missing. A tape piece of tape was ripped off the game, taking a small piece of the cover art with it. This motherfucker never heard of a period. Okay, there's a couple of periods, um, but that has no effect on the disc or gameplay. The game is in good working order. Let me see. Oh yeah, you can see it right there. That's not good. To be fair, uh, my haunting ground has the same problem. So. Haunting Ground, another PS2 rarity, uh, which I think this guy is asking for here. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he wants to trade Disaster Report and Clock Tower 3 for games that are like double the price of both of them together. <laughs> both game replacement DVD case, so he doesn't even have the fucking real case. We'll also take trades for PS2 survival horror games like Kuon! Get the fuck out of here. That's like a $200 game, and these are disc only 20 bucks each. Tops. He wants, he wants a $200 game. Haunting Ground is a $100 game. Blood Will Tut is like a $150 game. Or Beat 'em Ups, like God Hand, that's like a $50 game. Urban Rain, that's like a $20 game. So he's at least he's closer. Or RPG games like Grandia, I guess just regular Grandia. Or does he want these other games too? Legend of Lagaya, which I actually have that. Lagaya 2, that's on PS2. Which actually, that's like that's a, like a $10 game. So my trade for PS1 games, just let me know what you have and I'll let you know if we can cut a deal. I guess maybe maybe he just doesn't know how much some of these games are because I think Lagaya 2, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure Lagaya 2 is pretty uh no, I forgot that. Pretty common. Yeah, like nine bucks. That's brand new. Brand new. This one. You can get it for like ten bucks. So I, I can get a ten dollar game and then trade it for a thirty dollar game, I guess. 
Hey, yo, I got that Lagaya 2 for you. Give me that disaster report. Well, disc only. Uh, part of it's missing. Uh, you know, never mind. I'll just keep Lagaya 2. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's either he's trying to pull a fast one or he just doesn't know those games are worth way more than his games. Oh, I don't like that either way. Uh, new Nintendo Switch, 128 gigabyte card, 280. That's actually pretty good. Is there anything here I missed? I feel like I missed some. Crew 2 game for 20 bucks? Are you serious? License code available for sale for Crew 2 game. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Sure thing, buddy. Xbox 360 with games? Okay. Comes with power cable and a few games like Call of Duty Mario Party 15, Orange Box. Okay, that's a $20 game. NBA 2K9, FIFA 2006. All right. That's not bad, I guess. If you want 360 for 40 bucks, you get Orange Box. It's a I'm pretty sure it's like a twenty dollar game, right? I know it's I think worth more on PS3. Oh, I was about to put PS3. Uh fourteen dollars, okay. Maybe it dropped. <clears throat> I remember it was like a twenty dollar game for a little while. I guess it dropped. It's still not bad. I mean shit. It's definitely not bad when you consider the amount of games you're getting. You're getting technically three games and two expansions, but whatever. I guess you're getting five games really. <clears throat> Wait, what? I'm looking for a Super Mario Bros. pinball machine. Yeah, okay. I'm looking for a Super Mario Bros. pinball machine. Okay. I feel like I might have missed something. I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just in case I didn't miss anything. Oh, here we go. I missed this. What is this? Xbox Original Games, $3. Brooklyn, New York. Deus Ex Invisible War. That was a pretty disappointing game. I still liked it, but it's not as good as the original. Uh, Aeon Flux. <laughs> Um, what's her name? Charlie's the Ron. Um, Van Helsing, Hugh Jackman. There you go. Harry Potter, Quidditch World Cup, Robotech Invasion, Crimson Skies, one of the most fucking common Xbox games. Three bucks though. Is that three bucks all together or three bucks each? I'm assuming each. It's not bad, but I don't want to travel all the way to Brooklyn to get Van Helsing on Xbox. So nope. Anything else I miss? I think I, uh, I think I got everything. I don't lambasted everybody's fucking shit. All right, let's go to the next page. I think we'll just do this last page. I don't know if we'll continue after this. Oh, cop the recruit. I think that actually is worth a little bit. Without any experience, also expect. Okay, this guy just took the synopsis of cop the recruit. I'm pretty sure that's a kind of hard game to find. I don't know. Where I was about to buy that. I don't know what what does cop stand for. What is it? Eh, whatever. Um. Okay, maybe. Eh, no, never mind. Um, I was gonna buy that one time for uh, for one of GameStop's like sales back then when they had a bunch of DS games. Now they still. I mean, they still have DS games, but now it's not as big as it once was, I guess, when it comes to selection. And uh, that was one of the games I was gonna get because it looked kind of cool. It had like 3D graphics and stuff, and it looked kind of like the original Driver games. Let me see, actually. I'm pretty sure that's true. It looked like Driver. I remember that. That's why I distinctly... Yeah, I'm going to look up. We're going to go on a field trip here. <laughs> yes. Um, the Driver game you never played. There you go. See? Immediately. Oh. Oh, so this game was actually supposed to be a Driver game. Uh, that's funny. Look, it says originally intended as Driver the Crew on DS. That's funny. Okay. That's hilarious. There you go. I nailed that. So it was originally actually supposed to be a driver game. I just remember seeing like little gameplay on the GameStop site. Yeah, that's we'll screen it, I guess. Can you see it? Yeah. There you go. That's good. Look at this. I guess I turned the volume up. Look at that, see? It looks like like driver two where you can actually walk around and stuff. <laughs> This was DS back in like 2008, so you got you gotta go with some leeway. It looks worse than a PS1 game, but it's DS. You know, it ain't Switch, it ain't PSP. Even though you know PSP came out around the same time, and definitely could do better graphics than that. But um, all right, so there you go. Um, let's see, PS4 games. Oh, Igor, we game. Remember this shitty movie with um, uh, what's his name? You get what it takes to be the most evil. Welcome to Malaria. Malaria? What the fuck? Where every year the 13 great evil scientists compete to see who will win the annual evil science fair. Igor has the chance to be the first evil sidekick to win it, but has 
but his great monster invention, Eva, has been kidnapped. Can he save her in time? If you do, you may become the most evil scientist in the land. Okay. I don't know why I read that. Just wanted to. Remember the Igor of the movie? John Cusack voiced him? I remember that because it was like, John Cusack is Igor. I'm like, eh, all right. <laughs> of course, my name's Gore, so. I think that came out right when I made my YouTube channel, too. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's true. Let's see. That's not bad. Is this new? If it was new, that would be a dope-ass deal. That's not. Um, uh, I when they still carry PS2 games. Okay. Let's see. Igor movie. Pretty sure 2008. Yeah, but when it come out. We're on a weird fucking, uh, September 19th. I started my YouTube in January of that year. So, fuck you. <laughs> I'm first. <sighs> Uh, oh, this is kind of cool. Light up Ryu statue. Oh, that's actually pretty dope. How big is it? Doesn't say. Yonkers. I don't want to go all over fucking Yonkers. Um, <laughs> got rid of that quick. That's kind of cool. Same guy, but uh, Duke Nukem Forever. Carpet Nukem. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> um, I was in the Duke Nukem Collector's Edition edition for uh, Duke Nukem Forever. I remember I was on a online forum that was doing an auction for like a bunch of guy, like some guys like shitty collectibles and video games and movies. Um, and I actually tried to win that, that statue. This was like a year after Duke Nukem forever came out. So I was still like, Duke Nukem forever, you know, it's shitty, but I still like Duke Nukem. I kind of want that statue. It doesn't say Duke Nukem forever on it to be fair. So yeah, I'll just have a little bust that has Duke Nukem there. And I was trying to win it for like 10 bucks or something. And I didn't win it. The only thing I won was a Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm sorry, Nightmare Before Christmas. I always do that. Um, on Blu-ray. Yeah, there you go. Maybe I should refresh because there a lot of these. I'm assuming a lot of these do have pictures, and they're just not popping up for some reason. I guess I don't know. Some some did pop up here. Let me go up. Maybe some stuff I missed. Oh hell yeah, Kung Fu Panda. What is this? I didn't see that before. Brand new Nintendo Switch plus two games, Mario Kart. And what else? Really? Those are two like games that still sell for like 50 bucks. And you get a Switch, which is brand new. What do you mean brand new? Like you played a little bit and you like it? Switch is unused as well as games. So games are new too? Oh, that seems shady as fuck. <laughs> this guy stole this shit. Yeah, well, I mean, as long as this is legit. I mean, I guess if he stole it, it's not legit. But if they're the real products, then that's a good deal. Hey, if someone wants to try to claim that, where is it? In Brooklyn, it looks like? Yeah. It's, uh... East River, Allen Street, Bowery. So, yeah, Broadway. FDR Drive, yeah, it's, yeah, it's in Brooklyn. Um, that's not bad. Even if it's stolen. If you want a good deal, you want two good games that are definitely not going to drop in value anytime soon, then I guess that's not bad. Just make sure you bring a, a weapon with you. <laughs> you don't want to die. Make sure. If you get shot, don't blame me. That's uh, pretty much what I'm trying to say. I didn't do it. I didn't shoot you. Not this time, at least. Alright. Uh, original Nintendo with two controllers tested and works. Fifteen dollars for GTA Five. That's not bad. For three sixty, it's still a twenty dollars game. Mint Battlefield One, PS Four, and Until Dawn. Thirty five dollars selling both for thirty five dollars together. It's not a great deal, but it's not the worst, I guess. Sega Saturn Collection. Oh, I wonder what's in there. All right, this is a stock photo. Maybe it's not. Sports games. Nights in the Dream Sampler. D disc one uh two, where's disc one? All right, hold on. Me... Total value to uh, six hundred fifty dollars. I guess the. All right, see that's this is how you do a Craigslist. If that's true, that's how you do a Craigslist because you don't do eBay prices because it's Craigslist. You do you know something fair. House of Dead is a hundred fifty dollar game. <clears throat> uh, Duke Nukem, that was in there. I didn't even see it. Oh yeah, there it is thirty. Awesome. Fire. These are all the prices. The games are just only no matter the cases. Is how's it definitely a hundred fifty dollar game without the case? Is that true? 
I have a feeling that's not true. Let's see. Um, well, let me see Duke Nukem first. I, I want Saturn. All right, Disco Lance, like thirty dollars. I should go to Sold. Let me go to Sold Listings. Um, what was the other game? Uh, House of the House of the Dead, Saturn. It's, yeah, it's Japanese though. They had the American release. Japanese, Japanese. Here we go. All right, so that's what the box though. It is 177 it sold for though, so that might actually be true. Yeah, I didn't actually know that. I knew it went for a lot, but I didn't know it went for that much. Like, damn. All right. Shit, I have to keep an eye on that. Uh, custom case. It's pretty awesome, actually. I have to keep an eye on that one. It goes for a lot. We can't get rid of this. Uh, I don't keep fucking looking at my own face. <clears throat> I look at my own face way too much as it is. Um, all right. Let's keep going. It's, uh, it's not a bad deal, actually. If I had 300 bucks, I was just like, I don't know what to do with it. I would actually consider that. Because right there, 100, 150 for House of the Dead, if it's, like, not scratched, that's half of what they're asking for right there. And the Saturn itself is, like, worth, like, what, 100, 150 maybe? Saturday Saturn, 90 bucks? I thought it used to go for higher, but okay. And there's actually some pretty good titles here. Panzer Dragoon. Die Hard Trilogy. D to this. I only saw the second one, but okay. Hmm. Where, where, where is this? Brooklyn. That's too far. I don't have $300. It's a good deal, though. It is a good deal. They're only disc only, but still a good deal. Fuck. That sucks. If it was right here and I had, like, if I had the 300 even if I didn't want to really get rid of it. But if I had it, I would consider it. Sell that House of the Dead game, maybe a couple other games, and recoup my money. <sighs> it sucks. Fuck it. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time for DS, ten bucks. That's not too bad if it comes with the uh, case. Lost World Jurassic Park. By the way, that Jurassic Park game comes out next Tuesday. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I mean, it technically already came out, but it doesn't come out physical until next week, and that's what I'm picking up. Two bucks for Angry Birds Star Wars for DS. That's not bad. They don't want to get rid of that shit. I don't know how much it goes brand new. I think that's brand new. It looks brand new. Right? It looks like it's like shining on the plastic, right? Yeah, it's, it's brand new. Yeah. Is it? No, that doesn't help. <clears throat> oh, this guy's trying to get rid of his NES Classic Edition because they're about to re-release a lot of them. In a few days. Um, why is this upside down? Oh, it's a bunch of shit. Oh, yeah. $150 for this? Star Wars Battlefront? It's like a $10 game. Disc only. Everything else is fucking poopy. I don't see anything else good there. Yeah, that's a bad deal. That's a, that's just a bad deal. That's bad. $50 maybe. $150? Get the fuck out of here. Um... Depends on what the games are. Uh, Demolition Racer, Need for Speed 3, uh, Jimmy Johnson's a VR football, 1L. Uh, the Smurfs sold. Okay, so Smurfs isn't there. That's actually worth a little bit. That's why. I think that's actually worth a little bit. I think it actually is. I think it's actually a rare game. Guys, I think it's a rare game. <laughs> Guys, I think that's a rare game. Pretty sure it is. Yeah. Rare. When, when I mean rare, I mean just valuable. A twenty dollar game. So someone was just like, "I'll buy that." And how much you want for that? Oh, five bucks. Oh, perfect. I want that. I want that fucking shit. Put that in my fucking mouth. All right, that's weird. I don't, I don't think I want to meet up with you. Kind of weird. Fuck you. <laughs> Making up a story in my head. <laughs> a very strange story. All right, so this. All right, this is where I go. Okay. You have three copies of the same fucking game. Like, why? It's either... For some reason... Oh, and you have uh, two Wii Sports. You have a Wii Sports and Resort uh, combo. Combo. Oh, you have another version of Zelda Twilight Princess. That's good. What else was that? 
on the top right. I mean, bottom right. Uh, Madden 07. Another Wii Sports. I'm assuming these are two separate Wii Sports. So four Wii Sports. Five if you count the... Yeah, see, this is... I think this is like a stolen... Some stolen shit. Either that or he got this from like some surplus place. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Get out of here. Same thing for those PS3 games. I mean, maybe this guy ran a store. I can't say they... I mean, a lot of people try to sell stolen shit on Craigslist. That's the reason why I, always, I immediately go to... It's stolen. <laughs> it's because they sell a lot of stolen shit. Um, wait, go back. Battlefront 2. Okay. Uh, we'll do one more page. Maybe we'll do like half this page. Uh, actually, you know what? Click on one random one. How far are we? 27 days ago. Okay. All right, so we're not too far in the past here. Television games, Nintendo Wii U bundle. Nintendo Wii U games, as many as you want. <laughs> All right. <laughs> want to say my I forget about spending my money. You just have all the games you want. You get it. Can create a custom setup. You can get them all in three. They mess with me with the games you want. Oh, then I set up the games. Ah, fuck off. Oh, he has a YouTube video. Here's a video of it all. Yeah, let's watch this fucking stupid video. Hey guys, I'm scamming you. This is my Wii U. This is my Wii U. So that it can play games from an external hard disk that I supply. Oh good, you have your fire alarm thing going on. How professional. He was just screen, like taking a picture. I mean, he was doing it like Dark Side Phil style. Oh shit, wait, hold on. There's actually some, uh... Medieval, that's like a $20 game. Five bucks. House of Wax, that's not even a fucking game. Plus the move, no... Oh. Uh, Splinter Cell. Okay, so that's like the only thing that's worth it. Where is he? Wonder if that medieval's still there. I'm pretty sure the medieval goes for a little bit. I need to really not get rid of that eBay. Medi. No, medieval PSP. Pretty sure it's like a twenty dollar game. Okay, well maybe not. <laughs> Never mind. Still not bad though. Especially I love Medieval. It's pretty much just a remake of the original. <clears throat> All right, so that's not bad. Five bucks for that. I was hoping I'd see like Silent Hill uh, Experience, which is not a game, to be fair. But so isn't House of Wax or One Love or fuck. So I was hoping I'd find that. Because I've been really looking forward to that. I mean, I, I've been looking forward to that. I've been looking for that, is what I'm about to say. Because uh, I'm going trying to go for a complete Silent Hill collection. There's a lot of Silent Hill games, a lot of different versions of Silent Hill games. Um, $20 each. Probably 13 for 20 bucks. I kind of thought of for that is not bad. Battlefront, shit. That should be free with one of these games. <laughs> By Friday, you get Battlefront. Or actually, Battlefront, here you go. That's it. We just give it to you because we can't get rid of the fucking thing. Oh, God. I'm getting tired. Pokemon Tournament, Wii U. No, no, no. Xbox 360 Connect for 14 games. Only 55 bucks. Look at all those Connect games you can play. Oh, man. Look at all the Connect games you can play with this Connect. Wow. All of them use Connect. No, none of them use Connect. Well,. Maybe maybe the sports games. They might use Connect in some way. Pretty sure nothing else here uses Connect. Actually, Assassin's Creed 4 might use like voice controls. So alright. Never mind. M maybe. Maybe never mind. Fucking hell. Um twenty bucks for all these? That's not too bad. For all of them. Okay, that's not too bad. But yeah. Uh, games are like new. Yeah, Arkham City is completely sealed, brand new. Series buyers only for uh, price for them. Okay, twenty bucks for all four of those is not bad at all. Batman Arkham Origins, fucking hell, I forgot about that game. And anybody remember the fucking stupid ass multiplayer that was in that game? That that game had the dumbest multiplayer. <laughs> I mean, it was a good idea, but playing it, it was so fucking stupid. You know, hold on, let's see, let's go on another field trip. Because it was all about, like, you play as Batman, and I think there's two players playing Batman and Robin. And everybody else was, like, gang members. And it was just pretty much, like, one of those stealth sections uh, in Batman, Arkham, whatever. 
um, where you have to like be sneaky as Batman, but the other people are actual people. So it didn't really work as well as you would expect because they're much smarter than regular people. I mean, uh, than uh, regular AI. Um, also, I, I remember like if you were Batman and you had a Robin, that Robin could fuck up completely. Uh, let me see. Arkham Origins multiplayer. I only played it for a few matches. I, I got tired of it quick. Uh, let's watch. You know, let's watch this one real quick. Just real quick. I know we're 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 completely the Joker. The Joker. I wonder if they ever thought of like doing this again. I mean, I know it wasn't. Yeah, it was like a third person shooter. It was fucking stupid. Look at this. Does this look like Arkham anything? Does this look like an Arkham game right now? It looks like a shitty like. Oh, here we go. Oh, Bat Danny. He's not Batman though. If it confused me for a second. Um, it looks like a sh it looks like that shitty. Um, okay, I shouldn't say shitty because it actually wasn't bad. That Gotham City Imposters game, like graphically, it does. It, it just looks awkward. Um, and I know that game was first person before someone says it. You can like, sir. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, there you go. You killed him. So I forgot. Do you, it, when you die, you don't actually. You just lose a point, right? I believe so stupid like you have so many abilities where it's just like you don't feel sneaky anymore this was such a dumb fucking idea oh there you go oh robin oh is he dead no no oh he's behind that barrel i could see because i have batman tech i guess it's fucking stupid uh it should have been more like art like friday the 13th wouldn't that have been great if it was like friday the 13th where it was asymmetrical and in like in the perfect way possible where it was seven people trying to find the batman um, or trying to find a way to escape Batman because they're all fucking freaked out. Like, oh my god, it's Batman. Um, and uh, you still have weapons to defend yourself. But Batman, of course, is much smarter and has more uh, gadgets. And you have to try to escape. And that's what they were trying to do, kind of. Even though that Friday the Team game had, obviously, they had no inspiration on this. Because this came out years before. But they fucking failed. They failed hard. It wasn't Rocksteady, by the way. Oh, that's actually really good. We party for... It's sealed? I'm pretty sure that's like a $20 game. Not sealed. How much is a sealed version? Again, I got off the fucking eBay site. Uh, we party. We. We. New. We party. We party. No, I want we party. No, we party. I don't want. Fu what the fuck is this shit? I want we party. Did I fuck up something? It's called we party, right? We party. Oh my god. Oh god, I just want it to tell me what I want. I don't want game party. I want we party. Fucker. Are you fucking serious? This is ridiculous. Uh, when did it come out? <laughs> I have to put a year. Fucking kid. Here we go. Brand new. 40 bucks. Someone's selling it for. It's not bad, actually. For 15 bucks? Where is it? Where is it? Stanford? Where is Stanford? That's too far. Fuck! I want a deal. I want one fucking deal. I just want to see what sold listings for. I'm sure they'll show me game party champions or some shit. Oh, good. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Who the fuck would buy game party champions now from Canada? A bunch of fucking stupid Canucks. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm just upset. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Uh, are you fucking kidding? I just want Wii Party. There you go. Brand new. Okay. Some of them have sold for pretty cheap. <sighs> whatever uh all right we're almost done with this page might as well keep going um places for okay i guess I, I don't think i'll be getting anything today yeah, it's ps1 there's a couple games a free game under five dollars okay so that's some fucking store i think it's really trying to get rid of a is that legit <laughs> good picture fuck it i don't care anymore <laughs> is it legit? Don't care anymore. Uh, and our terrible deal, Katamari Damashi. That's a great game, though. Ten dollar game, disc only. PS2s are not worth a hundred dollars anymore. You fucking ass clowns! Like really, a hundred bo bucks? Oh, well, I, I I spiced up the deal, and I you know, I'll put nine games in there. They're probably all fucked up and scratched, but you know what? Nine games. It's pretty good. They, you know what? They were sixty dollars at one point. 
I bought them for sixty dollars. That means twenty five years later, gonna have to be worth sixty bucks now. I know it wasn't twenty five years ago. I'm just being a dick. Oh god, I had someone like that at a yard sale the other day where uh, I asked them how much they wanted for. Um... To be fair, he was a kid too. Um, he, he was like twelve or something. But um, I asked him uh, how much you want for. Uh... He had a couple Xbox One games. He had a. Uh... I forgot. Uh, it was if you watch my last Gore's recent pickups, it was the uh, place I got the Lego Star Wars Connect game. I mean, not Connect game. I'm sorry, Lego Star Wars um, Xbox One game. I'm tired. Like I said, it's five o'clock in the morning. Um, and he's just like uh, he, was, he was trying to get fifteen for it, and I talked him down all the way to four. So pretty good. Uh, his parents were there too. I actually talked to them more than him because he was being a kid. And he wanted way more than the fucking game's worth. Um, cause you can get that game for like 10 bucks on eBay any day, really. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you'd say, oh shit, really? Five bucks? Is Humby used five bucks? Actually, that's not too bad. Bando 1 is 10 bucks? Huh? The disc? That's not bad. Okay. That's actually not bad. Wait, wait, wait what's with the Miss Pac-Man in the box? It's weird. You don't even list that. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? The story kind of trailed off anyway. I don't even remember. Um, he wanted, he wanted like, he wanted like a lot more than they were actually worth. I was just like, come on kid, you know, give me a good price or I'll give you one of these. Yeah, that's right. Give me my fucking price. I did that. I threatened a kid. I wanted my fucking Lego game. All right. You can't take my Lego game from me or I'm fucking get angry. Oh, that's not bad. 20 bucks each or together. Uh, yeah. No, they're separate. Oh, and the Horizon sold? I mean, that's not bad, I guess. You know, I just picked it up the other day for eight bucks, but whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm, getting, I'm starting to get a headache, too. Great. Uh, $40? Are you going to system? Oh, that's not bad. System still goes for 150 Uh, game-wise, last story is like a $30 game. Pikmin's probably like a $30 game. Uh, everything else, or... It's not bad. That Wii U controller looks pretty clean, too. It's not bad. It's not bad. But it ain't great, either. So, get it out of my face. Yeah, I think we're about done. I'm getting tired. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Been tired. But, uh, I'm getting even more tired. So I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right. So anyway, there you go. That was just a little test out what I could do in the future with uh, with my game hunting, I guess. Um, bought nothing, but yeah, it was uh, hopefully at least entertaining to watch. I don't even know what I'm gonna call this. Uh, uh, uh looking for deals with Gore. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think that's exactly what I'll call it. I'll call it looking for deals on Craigslist with Gore. There you go. That's a, that's uh, looking for deals on Craigslist with Gore episode one. Uh, this is like a real throwaway video. This is me chilling. I should actually live stream one of these. This makes sense as a live stream. Uh, if you watched all the way to the end of this, congrats uh, in the comments just to prove that you watched it and also to prove that you're you're my friend. Uh, put in the comments uh, what your favorite color is. Just put it though. Don't put a reason why you're putting it. Just Put it, like, say blue, and that's it. Like, if you want to actually leave a comment, put your the, your favorite color, then put, like, like a bunch of, like, spaces in between the color that you picked and then what you wanted to say in the comment, like, the actual comment. Like, if you want to say, this is a good job, Gore. Gore, you're a fucking idiot. Put the color, your favorite color first, and then, like, a bunch of spaces or, or press enter a few times and, like, do that. <laughs> All right, anyway, goodbye. No deals. Fuck it. <laughs>